Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward in your productivity. So in this video we are lucky enough uh, to be interviewing Rohit and Rohit is the CEO uh, and uh, founder as well of uh, Cloud Magic. So Cloud Magic is an email application that I started using uh, at the start of my degree uh, and it's been very, very popular, has taken over a lot of um, the emailing space at the moment. So what we're going to do in this video is uh, take a bit of uh, Rohit's time uh, to ask him five uh, questions. Um, and I really do appreciate um, you coming in the Hangout because obviously I know you've had a really busy week, haven't you? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we launched the Mac, the Mac app uh, earlier this week on Wednesday actually. So yeah. I mean, people like it, so I'm kind of constantly replying to their questions, uh, you know, being active on Twitter and things like that. So it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, finally, to see something uh, out of the door after months and months of hard work. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, and and it's it's. I mean, I've checked it out, and and we'll go into detail on. I think it's question four. So uh, we'll we'll save that one. Um, so just my first question to you, Rohit, is um, obviously I want people to understand a bit more about yourself. Um, so is it possible if you can explain, you know, introduction to yourself, your kind of past experience as well? Is yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Rohit Nadhani. I'm the founder and CEO of Cloud Magic. Um, in in general, uh, Cloud Magic is my third company. So I did uh, two other companies before Cloud Magic. Uh, I don't have a formal degree in computer science, but just started hacking with programming and computers, you know, during sc school days. And then I started a company when I was in high school, and you know, it went all the way up to college. It was a financial accounting software company back in India. Um, it was it was great. Gave me a lot of pocket money, but uh, not not a real business. There was no internet and app store during those those times so you have to literally uh, copy your whatever programs on binary and a floppy disk uh, take on a bus and and give demos to you know small business owners uh, and that was not a very scalable thing uh, but it, it was great it taught me programming it taught me real life stuff uh, which i don't think people learn in you know universities and, and things like that uh, then I quit my job and uh, joined another company, worked there for six years, uh, started a MySQL tools company in 2006. Uh, we make very popular tools for MySQL. Um, it's, it's a bootstrap profitable company. And from the profits of that company, we started Cloud Magic. So Cloud Magic is, uh, again, uh, self-funded, uh, you know, small, not yet profitable. Uh, but uh, bootstrapped, yes. So my next question leads on to um, how, I mean, what was the inspiration behind Cloud Magic? How did you start that journey? What what kind of twig, uh, twigged uh, when you wanted to create Cloud Magic? We didn't think of creating an email app at the beginning. Uh, Cloud Magic was originally a search app. So we think of us as uh, Google, but for all your personal data, or Spotlight Search, but all your cloud data spread across various services. Uh, and that was a real problem. Like I had my documents in Google Docs, some of them in Dropbox, some of them in like Gmail attachments. And then a friend used to recommend a restaurant in a social feed, and I just wanted one search engine. Uh, so we, we built that. and. Uh, which means that you give us OAuth credentials to all your accounts, and we'll crawl your data, build a high-performance search index, and let you search uh, it. Um, that was a great application, but it was kind of a challenge to scale that up, uh, because we realized that even though we are crawling and indexing all those data sources, 82% of our searches were for email. So although we had like Evernote and Facebook feeds and Twitter, nobody go back and search them. Like if uh, you know, in here everyone says, "Yeah, I would like to search," you know, for the restaurant that someone recommended me two two months ago on Facebook. 
but nobody did that like hardly few people did that so people would tend to forget that there was this another search app in in, in on your phone uh, but people used to come back again and again for searching email and uh, and then we realized you know what let's clean up everything else and focus squarely on email uh, and when we were building this search app we had built this incredible search engine to crawl your inboxes in real time and deliver email onto your devices so it was kind of a pivot like clean everything else uh, extend that search app to a full blown email application and that we launched in november 2013 as an android app and an ios app so it has been like 2 years uh, since we launched our first email app and then we launched like mac app early, earlier this year um, so yeah that's how you know cloud magic email got created yeah that's fantastic and i i do remember um when it did come out uh, i think i was starting university so it was like it was like a really strong application at the time like I think it. I think my my flatmate uh, Mark he uses it every day. Um, he finds it an amazing experience. So I think it's I think it's a it's a really quality application. Um, but that kind of leads me on to the third question, which um, I know for me my uh, favorite feature inside Cloud Magic is the card usage. So I attach mm -hmm. my Evernote account, and obviously uh, you press of a button and it goes straight to your Evernote. Um, I mean, what's your favorite feature inside Cloud Magic? Because you're using it every day, right? Uh, yeah i don't have uh, like one favorite feature like you know I, I every pixel of cloud magic is a kind of a labor of love so i'm kind of uh, emotional and attached to every pixel i just like the overall uh, cleanliness and minimalism of cloud magic just uh, you know it it makes me feel a little bit better about my life when i'm doing email when i'm like looking at the cloud magic interface so that's the kind of the, we try to reduce clutter as much as possible so the overall ui and cleanliness is i think uh, by far by number the number one favorite feature in cloud magic I, I agree with you there. It is, it is very clean. Um, so my fourth question is, um, how did your Mac app launch go? I mean, I, I know some of the figures already. Um, you were cu you're currently second on the US Mac App Store, which is incredible. Um, and could you go through any more kind of figures on how that's going at the moment? Because, you, you know, it's only Wednesday, right? Oh yeah, I cannot. Uh, I mean, obviously, you cannot share the real numbers, but uh, I mean, get gives you an idea. Like we 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 shot up to number two, like within hours of launch, um, and that helped. I mean, we had already a strong community of users, and they kind of voted an emphatic yes by by buying the Mac app and and things like that. Um, so it was a good launch. Uh, I will keep my fingers crossed because all these app launches. Uh, kind of a lot of them are successful during the launch week and then kind of you know and go downhill from there so let's see how it kind of shapes up in the next couple of weeks and then I'll have a kind of a real hole where it kind of settles down but I think people like the cleanliness uh, I mean uh, there's unlike um, you know cloud magic is unlike many other email apps so maybe you know we are not uh, we don't have all these uh, fancy features as like uh, snoozing and send later and email tracking and all all of that but i think we even with the first version we have nailed it down emailing core emailing really really well and once you kind of nail down e core emailing you know, all these features are you know you can kind of build them uh, with every iteration so so we are trying to nail down core emailing and then build all these uh, productivity features with every you know every two to three weeks we are going to come up uh, you know push an update and you will see um, some of these uh, features that you know people have kind of got used to like snoozing and you know all of that yeah great that's that's brilliant the um, obviously I, I think I saw some really uh, great coverage obviously Mac world did a, a feature right and yeah. uh, and also like fast company as well too so they did a great job um, so that kind of leads me on to the final question, um, and obviously for a lot of Cloud Magic users out there, they're probably watching this and you know uh, appreciating your time as well. Um, 
they probably want to know, I guess, what's um, some of the vision, what's some of the things you're working on for the future. You don't have to go into too much detail, but obviously um, some tasters for the future would be nice. Sure. So we want to give you a very clean, consistent exp emailing experience uh, across all devices. Okay. And, and um, in terms of technology, we are very well positioned to, de to deliver that. So our sync engine, like just a bit, like I will try to keep technology as less as possible. But just a sync engine is, is very powerful and it runs on the cloud. So now it's just very straightforward for us to deliver the interface on all devices. Today it's Mac, tomorrow it could be Windows, uh, you know, or, or wearables, what, whatever. Just very straightforward for us to launch on many platforms. So we are going to nail down core emailing, consistent emailing, clutter-free emailing, um, support all kinds of accounts. Uh, we do exchange really, really well. So a lot of, uh, you know, these startups and other companies they they focus on gmail and, and you know 95 percent of fortune 500 companies use exchange and that's that's good that nobody focuses on exchange and we saw that very early and kind of invested a lot on exchange um so again uh, consistent user experience all across all accounts clutter free we want you to love email again and once we kind of delivered that a table stakes email app we are going to build uh, all these uh, new uh, age productivity features productivity features that you kind of expect out of an email app uh, so that would include send later and snoozing integration with crm and things like that across all devices so there are a lot of uh, you know gmail extensions today that let you track emails but guess what they don't work on mobile uh, because these are gmail extensions and uh, on mobile, uh, you know, an email app, the default email apps on mobile will not let you build an extension on top of it. So you need to build your own apps and you need to control each and every pixel of the apps. So we are going to kind of, so when we do send tracking, it's, you know, this isn't this going to be a, like an extension or like an artificial implant. You know, it's just, you know, while you send the mail, you probably, you know, do a check mark and it says, you know, this, this mail is tracked across all devices uh, so that's how we are thinking about uh, you know email uh, you know i i mean imap and other email protocols are like 30 40 50 years old and is there something that we can do to kind of uh, you know put a layer on top of these things and kind of build a more modern experience on top of email that's 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 we are what we are trying to do in a nutshell yeah fantastic um, and obviously that's fantastic. Building that core experience is so important. Uh, what I love about Cloud Magic is it's one of I think it's one of the only application that's on Chromebook uh, natively um, as an email yeah. application. And seriously, the amount of time I've saved uh, on using that when I've been on six-hour trips where I've had no Wi-Fi or no 3G connectivity has saved me so much time. So uh, obviously that that focus on core is is great. So I just want to thank you, Rohit, for taking your time to do that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll include in the link just below all of the information about the Mac app launch too, uh, mm -hmm. and all information about how you can get Cloud Magic. Um, so for, for myself, uh, I recommend it for any students, uh, individual startups, uh, you know, larger companies, as you say, um, as it's got exchange. So uh, thank you very much, Rohit. I really appreciate your time. Uh, hey, thanks for having me. No, it must have been a really busy week, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, and, and also, I'll include your uh, Twitter uh, name here. Um, yes. And then uh, people can follow you on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always uh, ready to answer questions like, uh, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. I, I'm hey, hey, on Twitter, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, great. Awesome. So thank you very much, Rohit. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching the video. Uh, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Yeah, you have a good weekend, rest of the weekend. Thanks.